Hi everyone, welcome to another Miss Alvis Outdoors. Today is an indoor project, it's something I started with my class before isolation, um, but I finished it yesterday. We were lucky enough to find some tadpoles at the farm where it had been raining so much there were puddles under the trees and a couple of frogs had obviously got a bit confused and laid their tadpoles in these puddles. I rescued uh, lots of them and this video is all about them growing up. So this is what they were like when they arrived. They were tiny, tiny, and most of them actually hatched on the first night. We gave them some pondweed, and they were quite happy swimming around, gradually getting bigger. We also found in the pondweed some little snails and some larvae, which were growing in there as well. That was quite exciting to see them. That's a dragonfly larvae in the middle of that photo. This is about two weeks in now, and you can see the tadpoles, they are getting their back legs. Uh, they're still swimming around, they've still got really strong tails, but that most of them now have got a pair of really, really lovely strong back legs. Uh, and then once those are really strong, they'll start to grow their front legs. So I've just cleaned out the tadpoles. I just want to show you the difference in some of their growth. So you can see there are two here, and the one on the left is a bit more blobby. You see he's only got his back legs and he's still got a really strong tail. Whereas the one next to him is a bit smaller. It's got a longer body. And if you look really carefully, there's another one coming, that's not helpful. Uh, if you look really carefully, you can see he's got his little bits of front legs, which is really cool. Um, so I've cleaned them out. They've got lots of new water now. There's someone else down here and there's Mr Wonky in the corner I'm not sure how well he's going to grow you can see he's got a bit of a wonky tail um, and one of his back legs isn't as big as the other one but we'll see how he does so this is a few days later now and you can see they've started climbing up onto the rocks they've got their front legs they're getting nice and strong there's still a few you can see down in the bottom corner there who haven't got their front legs they can't climb up on the rocks yet, but that, that'll happen. And it was really important now that we kept the lid on because we've got this one up here on the rock and one of them has proved that he can start climbing. Um, you can see here its tail is getting a lot smaller and its legs are getting a lot stronger and it's sort of suckered itself onto the side. So these are my lovely tadpoles, just before we let them out, we're going to release them tomorrow uh, because you can see there are four of them here out of the seven who are in fact already frogs. I'm really pleased that Mr Wonky, the, oh you're going for a swim, um, the little tadpole who's just sat now on the right of the rock, the one that we were really worried about if he would actually develop properly, has, you can see on his back that he's still a little bit sort of wonky not really sure why uh, but he seems to be doing all right he's made it to frog stage you can see on that one swimming around now that they've still got like a little nub of a tail um, but they haven't got a proper tail like they used to and we've still got somewhere down in here three tadpoles swimming around they've got their back legs but they haven't got their front legs yet so they're they're going to be fine to release so today is tadpole release day uh, I just want to show you I've got another tadpole just down here who's got both of his front legs now which is really cool there's another one down under here he's got both of his front legs as well and then this guy here is still refusing to grow his front legs um, but we will see what he well he's going out in the wild we'll see what happens to him and then I've got I lift the lid up really carefully I've got my other four guys here on the top of the rock oh I can only see three of them oh no there's a fourth one down between the rocks that's fine uh, there's my four little frogs here who have been jumping up the walls and off their rocks and things We've come down to the pond on a nice warm sunny day and we are all ready to release the tadpoles. 
So the rocks and everything were taken out for their journey just in case. Uh, and we're just checking they're all still good in their tank, ready to be put into the water. This is the pond where I've been getting their water from and their pond weeds. So they're used to parts of this natural environment anyway before they've been put into it. And it's where they would have naturally uh, been laid as frog spawn if the frogs hadn't got confused and laid them in a puddle under the tree. We can see one of the little frogs sat there in the pond weed. The tadpoles that didn't have their legs yet will have swum off. Uh, but he's quite happy sat there. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you've learned something about tadpoles and frogs. Um, if you've got any questions, send them to me, put them in the comments or something uh, so that we can get back to you. And we will see you soon. Bye.